There are a few people who I know in the context of Indian school education who had first attended the online classes during the COVID pandemic, then gone to the offline coaching institutes due to reduction in the number of COVID cases, and then have come back to their home fully energized and reinvigorated, ready to put in another hour of hard work and ready to study. Hey guys, what's up? Devan Mitra here, and welcome back to Prosun Panda. As you might know, I've secured a rank of AIA 165 in NIC 2021, 374 in KPSX 2020, 2993 in JE Main 2021 and 9739 in JE Advanced 2021. So today, we are back with another new series, the Time Management Series in which I will talk about the common problems which we as Indian school students studying in 11, 12 or even 9 to 10 commonly face in the context of first going to school, then going to our offline coaching institutes and then coming back and studying again. So without much ado, let's get started. So today in the first episode of our time management series, we are going to talk about a 11-12 school goer during the corona pandemic and how he or she might be able to manage time. So I have jotted down here a number of points and from my own experience, we used to have an online school from 8 am to 2 pm. Many students used to believe that school is not very important and during school we should do other types of questions, catch up on the coaching material or do the homework which our teachers have assigned us. But I used to feel school as important as coaching institutes so I used to pay to it as much importance as I used to pay to the other coaching institutes. After this we have an institute time from 4 pm to 8 pm. Here I would like to clarify that there are two types of people. Some would take the institute times on the weekdays and some would take it on the weekends. So now we are going to talk about weekdays. We are going to talk about weekends if you think that I am only going to talk about weekdays but you have to wait for it a little bit further. A normal offline coaching institute used to have an institute time from 4 pm to 8 pm and of this only twice a week on Saturday and Sunday because they generally are done for like four days or three days a week and the other one or two day there are tuitions about other subjects or those same institutes might call us to give an offline test at the center and that's the same as attending a class because the duration is almost the same so suppose from 8 pm after we finish you stay for 15 minutes and interact with the teachers what types of doubts you have then you go home and say you reach at 9 pm. After 9 pm, some students believe that we should immediately start studying. But if you do that, I think that you will not be at 100% potential and you will only be performing at 50%. So what my recommendation is that you should first energize yourself for one hour till 10 pm. Energize means not having a dinner. Energize means going out to play, talking with your friends or if you don't like going outside and playing, then I think that you should play at least some indoor games with whoever you have in your house. After having a one hour dedicated entertainment till 10 pm, I believe that you should go back home and finish off your dinner by 10.30 pm as you have already had one hour of entertainment and I believe that you shouldn't waste more time in dedicating time to your own personal hobbies instead of dedicating time to your work. So after 10.30, you should solve some questions for one hour on the topics which have been taught in that institute that particular day. Not taking a book and simply reading up the notes which your teachers taught that day or some topic which has been taught long ago or which hasn't been taught at all in that institute until now. While solving questions, you might have got stuck in some areas and you should better go and look up those notes till maximum of 12 am. You should study for only half an hour and then you should go to sleep. After sleep, you should get up at 6 am. Get refreshed till 7 am and refresh means having your bath, having your breakfast and not having absolutely less than 6 hours of sleep because less than 6 hours of sleep is detrimental to your own health and it will affect your performance and the only way your performance is going to go is downhill and further downhill if you take less than 6 hours of sleep. That thing which you were doing till 12 am last night from 11.30 to 12, you now take that and study say till 7 to 8 am and at 8 am your school will start so no point in advising you more. Now let's come jump to the weekend when you don't have these coaching institutes and when you are slightly free. In the weekends I believe that you should try to give a 3 hour test to assess at which point 
of your preparation you are currently right now in which parts you are having problem and which parts you have absolutely mastered study in blocks during these three days of two to three hours not less than two hours and not more than three hours because in blocks of more than three hours people are mostly found to lack in concentration or at least i myself used to do study in pomodoros not a 25 minutes but a 55 minutes and 5 minutes break then 50 minutes 5 minutes break and then you continue like this your study time in one particular hour decreasing by 5 minutes and your break time increasing by 5 minutes more catch up on the notes where you could easily solve those questions which you didn't have time till now to see during those weekdays when you had your institutes and your class and you were tired out at night and try to compile the notes which all your teachers are given into a mother textbook because I myself found it very useful during this time. And the last point is do not cut down on your entertainment because for your entertainment you will study. Believe that you are studying right now for your entertainment. Don't always put a long term goal like after 2 years I have to be something that's why I am studying. Think that I am studying now for 2-3 to three years to get that 1 hour of entertainment late in the night. And if I do not study well during those 2-3 to three hours then I won't get that 1 hour of entertainment and believe me you will find it highly productive and highly useful. So there are some people who have the institute times on weekends in 12 hour blocks divided equally between 2 days means 6 hours on Saturdays and 6 hours on Sunday. So about people like this in the weekdays suppose you finish your school at 2 pm so from 2 pm to 3 pm you take your bath you have your lunch, you do whatever you want. But after 3 pm, I suggest that you take a one hour nap. It is highly suggested because you have been exhausted by that six hours of grueling session sitting in front of the laptop and your eyes are exhausted. These advantages the weekday students don't have, but they have other advantages which you also don't have. So it's an equal field. After you have had your one hour nap till say 4 pm then you will take some time to adjust and get up from your sleep suppose till 4 15 pm and then i would suggest you to study till 9 pm as i've told earlier using the small motors of 55 and 5 minutes break 50 and 10 minutes break and so on from 9 pm as i've told take a break of one hour and that should be on every weekday without fake just like your study is essential every day and regular study is absolutely necessary for cracking any particular exam and being successful. Having one hour of that entertainment is also a must because it will keep you full, it will keep your brain cells active and running and it will not allow you to procrastinate for a very long time or be distracted because you know that you have got a short term aim of entertainment after you have done your 5 hours or 4 hours of hard work. After this, as I told, on the weekday schedule, you should have your dinner till 10.30 pm and then do some questions till 12 am instead of 11.30 pm for them. After 12 am you can catch up on those concepts where you are weak and study till a max of 1 am. You shouldn't study till after 1 am because then your brain will be functioning at a much slower pace than it actually can at your 100% or say even 80% productivity. It will function at maximum half of that speed which trust me you don't want as an 11-12 school student with all this content which is going to come on your shoulders sooner or later. Then after this you should sleep at least till 6 am because 5 hours sleep at night plus 1 hour of nap in the afternoon makes up 6 hours and 6 hours is a minimum absolutely the bare minimum and I want to stress on that it's absolutely the bare minimum that your brain needs to keep functioning as a healthy brain and not as a sleepy, drowsy and completely irritable and non-functional brain. In the days of the weekend, as on Saturday and Sunday, you will be having a pressure days and then you should do like what I told they should do on their weekdays. Like you should solve the questions and then you should study only for a little bit say half an hour and one hour and then go to sleep, get up after six hours, get refreshed and then you again catch up on this concepts where you are weak. In these weekends, you don't catch up on the concepts where you are strong. You only try to read those parts where you have not gathered so much of a grasp and only try to solve questions. And since most of the exams are being 
held on the weekends so i think your exams will also be coming so that's something which you need to manage out on your own one weekly test is absolutely essential for any 11 12 school student right now because it's tests which will tell you how much you need to read and how much you do not need to read and how much you know actually and again final tip do not cut down on entertainment entertainment will keep you going till the end of two years if you like this video then please consider subscribing hit the like button as many times as you can and share it with as many people and as many platforms as you can in the next video we'll be catching up with time management for students who will now be going to school offline if the covid burden reduces that is for the video next sunday and till then adios amigo peace out and let's go